Hello. Welcome to Card Mind. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be an Aquarius 2022 energy reading. Let's see what is coming in Aquarius for this next year of 2022. Eight of Wands. Six of Cups. Cards are flying right out. Six of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Let's move this over a little bit. Aquarius, the star, beautiful. Emperor Aquarius twenty twenty two. Wow. Six of Pentacles, Judgment, the Moon, Seven of Wands and Ace of Cups. Wow, Aquarius. You have the Star, the Emperor, Judgment, and the Moon. Important reorientation, Aquarius. Um, I think you are moving out of an energy, um, six of swords, eight of cups, you are moving away from a past, we will pull more cards on that, a past relationship or it, a past job. It seems more like a relationship with the Ace of Cups, but let's take it this, this as general energy. You're moving forward, but I think you're going back to something you really want. So you're either moving back home or back to an old career or back to something that fulfills you back to something that you connect with, with your comfort zone, something that is familiar to you. Maybe you moved out of, uh, maybe you were in a career or in a job that didn't correspond to you. And now in 2022, you're moving back into something that fulfills you, that something that you might have been doing a long time ago that you actually want to reconnect with. You might be moving back to your hometown. You might be moving back to um, um, something that you truly connect with. Working on being independent 
financially, bringing in money, bringing in money in an independent business, an independent environment, something that you're building on. Um, but I do feel a sense of, um, of true emotional connection and true emotional joy within whatever you're working in. This is something you're working hard at. This is something you're working hard at constructing, Knight of Pentacles. This is something that you really have strategized, organized, um, 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 structured. This is something that you, it's, it's like on the long haul, right? Something that you have um, identified and now you're on your way in 2022 to make it happen. Working hard, working hard. And it, here we go in the second part of, but it doesn't have to be the second part. These are all general energies in 2022. It is something that you're working on slowly but surely, step by step. You're leaving the past behind. You're leaving those past energies behind, going back to something that fulfills you, that really gives you pure connection, pure joy. Um, and it's powerful, Aquarius. It is powerful. You have the emperor. You are pushing forward in something you're mastering, something you uh, truly connect with. But your leader, you're very good at it. You're very good at what you do. And you're leading the way. If not, it is someone very powerful in your environment that is helping you along the way, that is generous with you, helping you maybe financially, helping you logistically, helping you start what you want to make happen within 2022. Six of Pentacles, generosity, um, empathy, being there for others, helping, uh, but also financial financial help you're there for others but others are there for you as well you have people around you that are really supporting you and helping you and maybe even helping you financially because this is a true rebirth Aquarius this is really something different this is something a judgment this is something that is really completely different than your preceding life and you're making bold choices judgment is about making bold choices and not looking back or going back to something that really fulfills you you're rising up you are you are destined to so much higher bolder you're ready to act. You're letting go. You're letting go of your old self. You're letting go. Six of swords, eight of cups. You're letting go of those old stigmas or those that little, that leftover thing that you're still doing in 2021, holding on to it, maybe holding on to a job, holding on to an old career, holding on to an old relationship, things that, or or just ways. It doesn't have to be something specific. It is that old energy that you're hanging on to until the end of 2021, right? Until 2022, where you all of a sudden decide, okay, it's time to let go of the old self and step into this newer version of yourself. And you really are who you are, right? You, you really own who you are in 2022. You, you have to make a decision, judgment. You are making a decision. It's a blend of, you know, intellect and intuition. You know you're going to make this happen. You, you're at a crossroad in 2022 because you want to make this happen so badly this is something that's been in your mind for a while this is not something that is just appearing here in 2022 so whatever it is a choice of leaving home a, a choice of moving countries moving cities a choice of uh moving in with someone it's a new step or a choice of changing careers of of, of deciding to think completely different and taking a completely different path or orientation right different way of thinking you're at a crossroad and crossroads and any 
decision or choice you make in 2022 is a significant change, right? Trust your intuition and know that you are on the right path. I mean, six of swords, eight of cups, letting it go, letting that past go. You have learned from those past experiences. You have learned from those past connections. You have learned from those past obstacles that have been difficult along the way. And you're pushing forward in that new self. All the pieces are coming together. You're now able to put that past behind and refreshed. You're refreshed in this new decision you're making in 2022 because you're new, because you're a new person. And as all star, all stars, as all, as all um, signs, 2022 is a new ball game. It's a whole new ball game. So if you have started to manifest or started to think of those things, the old things, those bold ideas, those new jobs, those new ways, there's just new ideas that you wanted to implement in 2022 and you want to start new, a clean slate. You want it, you believe in yourself. You truly do. And it's time to do it. You can make those decisions because, you know, this is all new for everybody. And the lesson learned in the past two years, I believe, if you don't, that's okay. But I do believe that the lesson learned was we are all energies. We are all new energies and we are all new clean slates. And we are thinking bolder. We are thinking more creative. Even in a panic, even in anxiety, we have realized, all of us, as a collective, that anything is possible and that because it's so difficult, because there are challenges along the way, it is, we should not limit ourselves. There is no limit. There is only trying. There is only energies to put out there. There's only energies for creativity, believing, energies of power to push forward to believe in oneself and believe in others. And if we don't believe in oneself, no one else is going to believe for, in us, right? If we don't put ourselves out there, if we don't try whatever we have in our mind, all those ideas we've had in our drawers, all those ideas we've had in the back of our minds that we never did because we never had time because of the kids, because of the situation, because of financial situation, because of yada, 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 right? So many because. Um, well, we'll never do it. And now's the time because it's a clean slate. It's a clean slate for all. Put yourself out there. Do what you want to do. Believe in yourself and, and, and trust that what you're building, what you have imagined is coming along. It is time. It is time, Aquarius. Right? Finally, you're into an energy that is calmer, that is more aligned, yeah, and, and, and that is able, enabling you to think in a calm way. Right? You're, you're realizing really who you are and what you, what you represent in this world and what you're putting out there. Right? So no matter what the challenges are, no matter what they are, you know that you're always connected, right? And so you're, you're, um, your old sense of yourself is sort of gone. And now you have a whole new appreciation of life, of you, of others. And now you're entering a peaceful phase of your life filled with, you know, energies and and mental much more mental stability because you're leaving that old self behind yes there are obstacles yes there's anxiety right the moon yes we have doubts but we believe in ourselves and we in a calmer way i feel like we are adapting we are adapting to the flow and as obstacles keep coming in we sort of jump them but with a calmer way right? With a calmer um, attitude, 
because we know profoundly that we are the ones projecting, we are the ones empowering ourselves. So we can manage those negative or those obstacles that come our way. We can manage them without completely turning ourselves over to the negative side. Ace of Cups, finding that emotional stability, pure joy, pure joy. So I think that leaving those, leaving that past behind and deciding new is really giving you happiness. Okay. So this, yes, again, disconnecting. I really think you're disconnecting with your past uh, emotions, your past way of channeling the emotions coming through and channeling the emotional obstacles. You're disconnecting and you're really finding your way. Yes, it is the end where am I putting this? Okay, You're, it's the end of a cycle. End of cycle. End of that heaviness on your shoulder. End of having to carry your way through. Carry, you know, that anxiety. And is it going to happen? And when can I start? And when is th are things going to open up? And when is it just not going to be in that hamster wheel, right? I I I'm opening up. You're opening up to new, to refresh, to calmness. To calmness in 2022. It's very, it's very interesting how all these readings are opening up to complete new powerful energies, but calm powerful energies. Queen of Pentacles, manifesting financial, okay, financial gain, right? She is, like the Nine of Pentacles, the one that's bringing in money, bringing in stability, reaching her goals, making things happen turning dreams into reality, turning um, projects into reality. She is one that makes money. Aquarius. Oh, not this one. All right, let's see if there are a few more cards that want to come out on this 2022 Aquarius reading. Too many cards. There we go. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, manifesting financial gain. This is a completely new opportunity for you, um, Aquarius. This is a really, really good uh, financial opportunity. So if you're starting a business, if you're starting a new job, if you want to orient yourself towards a new career, there is an opportunity there for you to make some money. Yes, going back to school. This is not the first time, Aquarius, that we have this situation here. Right? Going back to school or learning new skills and learning a new trade or, or learning from other people, uh, mentors, think people guiding you, people helping you financially or logistically or with your skills, mentoring you, uh, or even structuring yourself. Um, you know, going according to rules and regulations and uh, um, applying yourself to something new, new ways, new structures, new rules, new laws you can also get be getting married. That's a side, that's a side point. But I really feel like because it's coming out here with the Emperor and the Ace of Pentacles and the uh, Six of Pentacles underneath there, it's something that is you're structuring yourself to start something and develop something new, probably with new skills. And of quite a few options. There are quite a few options. There are choices to be made along the way because there, there are several paths you can follow. People are offering you opportunities. Some good and some fishy. That's okay. Make sure you fact check, back check, and make sure 
you know, if you have these opportunities along the way in 2022, make sure you check out the people and make sure these, you know, um, uh, you know who the people are and they're, they're legit. But you are opening up to completely new. Three of Wands, ready to make it happen, ready to embark on this new journey. You are making this happen in 2022. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. You might be even be getting married or, you know, and finding this new job or new opportunity or new business. Let the, yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the 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 justice here because it's a little bit like the judgment, but judgment is really starting bold, starting new, reinventing yourself. It's a rebirth. Justice is really about making decisions, making the decisions to make it happen, and making a decision or a choice, choosing something uh, that is long term. Right, long-term repercussion for you, for your family, for whoever is around you. Because in 2022 you're implementing differently and you're starting something, you're you're creating something completely new. Lots of decisions to make, lots of choices to have to make in 2022 to make this happen because you're embarking on a new journey. Five of swords, seven of wands. Let the ego go. Let the ego conflicts go. Let the ego, uh, you, you know, find your space, find your balance. The star, you are moving into calmer waters, right? I want to feel if, you know, this goes over here as well. Whatever petty conflicts, whatever difficult times have arisen in the past with people or just that ego oriented a decision making, right? Or every time there's a, an obstacle or every time you have a choice to be made or a decision to be made or things get a little stressful. I feel like that ego comes out and that is how you resolve the problem. No, calm, calm, collect, disconnect from that ego and just push forward in a very loving, calm, full way. I know it's easy to say, I know it's not, you know, that's not a day-to-day -day life where everything is so calm and and stable, but it is really pushing forward in 2022, a calmer energy. Let's see if there is uh, a message for the rope. There you go. Two of cups connecting. I There, is, there might be a, a marriage in 2022. Comment down below. Let me know if you connect with these energies. Two of cups. You're totally connecting with someone there absolutely let me know if you connect with these energies thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell that's very important trying to push this little channel i never thought it would reach 4k almost to 5k uh let's push forward and hopefully we get to 5k uh before the end of the year thank you so much for all your shares your likes your subs uh i will be posting uh, next uh, the money and career readings for january 2022 take care aquarius bye-bye